Hello, I'm Dr. Stila Lachlan, and like Dr. Robinson, I also work daily with children who have asthma. Today I want to talk to you about triggers, which is the word we use for things or circumstances that can cause your asthma to flare up and perhaps lead to an asthma attack. Many things can be triggers for asthma, and they are different for everyone. But there are some very common ones, such as allergies, exercise, germs, and strong smells, such as cigarette smoke. If you're watching this and you have asthma, then it's very likely that you also have allergies. As many as 80 to 85% of children with asthma also have allergies. You may have allergic reactions to pollen, dust mites, or furry animals. So you'll need to be serious about avoiding or decreasing your exposure to things that you're allergic to. Let's talk about ways that you might do that. You can use air conditioning in your car or home instead of opening the windows. Keep your pets out of your bedroom and wash your dog or cat often. As much as once a week is needed in some cases. Wash your bed sheets in hot water and vacuum your carpets once a week. If you think you may have allergies, talk to your doctor or nurse. There are special tests that can be done to find out what you're allergic to. Let's talk about another one of the major triggers, exercise. Some people with asthma have symptoms when they are exercising or playing. Exercising and playing are important and we want you to be as active as possible and not let your asthma stop you from enjoying the things you love. Your doctor may tell you to use your rescue medicine about 15 minutes before you know you're going to be active. And it may be important that you always remember to have your rescue inhaler with you if you play sports. Another one of the most common triggers can be germs or sickness. If you get colds or respiratory infections or the flu, your asthma can get worse. So you need to be very committed to washing your hands often, especially after going to the bathroom, playing, and eating. Getting your flu shot every year can also help you from getting sick. Finally, the other major trigger for some people with asthma is cigarette smoke. Cigarette smoke is really bad for people with asthma, and you should avoid being around it at all times. Don't let anyone smoke in your home or your car. Strong odors like perfumes, cleaning supplies, and candles can also trigger asthma attacks, so avoid using them in your home. Other things you can do to help prevent asthma attacks include using an air cleaning device with a HEPA filter, stay away from molds that may be in wet leaves, damp basements, and bathrooms, and try to stay away from very cold or very hot humid air. Remember that you and your parents can be very instrumental in keeping your asthma managed. It's worth it to learn about your triggers and be vigilant about avoiding them. In the next section, you'll learn more about medications that you may have been prescribed.